a backstage pa lang. Leave na ako dito guys, okay? Uh, punta kayo sa link. Okay. Okay, guys, live na tayo. Papanood sa buong mundo. Oh my gosh. Okay, um, kindly, kindly comment your name so para makita ko or alam ko na nandito na kayo sa loob. Okay, I have six viewers right now. May I know who you are, guys? Para alam ko na mga students ko kayo. Okay, so let's proceed. So I have six viewers. So anyway, this is recorded naman. So again, this lecture video will give us an introduction first on the parts of the circles before we go to central angles, how to find angles, how to measure central angles of a circle. Even in uh, finding the measure of the arc of a circle. So, meron tayong mga i-discuss na postulate later on, but let's have an introduction first. Okay. So, let's do this. Okay, so, uh, 
create a formula to find the diameter of the circle given the radius you have the diameter is equal to 2r okay those are some formulas na pwede nyo magamit later on next one let's have the arc what is an arc hindi yung arc ni noah ha iba yun let's talk about the arc an arc of a circle is any part of a circle. Okay. Any part of a circle. So let's see. Let's have some arc. So in a circle, since this circle is a collection or a series of points, let's say we have point B here and we have point E right here. By definition, an arc of a circle is any part of a circle. So, we can say that B, point B, yung curve na nakocover ng B papunta sa E, this is your arc. 
we have two kinds of arc. You have the minor arc and the major arc. For this circle right here, wherein we have arc AB, uh, arc BE, rather, arc BE, dahil mas maliit siya, we call this your minor arc. Moreover, kung ano naman yung mas malaki, yun yung ating major arc. Okay? So, ang travel natin dyan is from point E to point B. Ganun yung ikot natin. So, you have the arc E as your major arc. So, that's another basic parts of a circle. Let's say meron pa siyang point dito na isa. Let's name it D. So we can conclude. We can name that as E, B, B. Or B, E, D. Pwede din. Basta kung ano yung pinakamalaki na napoform na arc, yun ang major arc. Kung ano naman niya tira, natira na mas maliit, yun ang minor Part. So that is for the art. Next part, hindi ko na ilagay. We have the chord. Chord in music is composed of a lot of keys, but in in math or in geometry in particular, chord is a line segment inside the circle. Okay. Kung kanina, dinefine natin ang diameter as a line that goes through the center of the circle to another point of a circle. This is your diameter. Ang chord naman is a line segment inside a circle. So for example, you have point A here and you have point B right here. The line segment AB Inside this circle is called chord. Okay, so yun yung pagkakaiba niya. Si diameter, dumadaan siya kay center. Si chord naman, any line segment sa loob ng ating circle. Okay, next one, we have the central angle. From the word central, it touches the center of the circle and it forms an angle. Okay, kaya siya tinawag na central angle. So, let's try to illustrate it by drawing a circle again. So, let's have this one. So let's draw a circle. Kunwari circle yan. Be perfect yung circle. Okay. Good. Let me change it. Let's have another circle. Okay, let's define the central angle. A central angle is an angle formed by two radii or two radius. Siyempre, plural na siya, so radii. And its vertex is at the center of the circle. So, sabi natin kanina, ang radius is a line segment formed Starting from the center, let's name this circle A, to any part of the circle. Let's say you have point B. So this is your first radius. And let's say we have another radius right here. We have this. Central angle is the angle formed by two radii. So we have two radii here. We have... Line segment AC, radius number one, and line segment A. So these two lines over here have formed an angle. Okay. You can name that angle CA. 
Now, this angle form is called a central angle because their vertex is found. The vertex is at the center. Okay. Vertex, pag sinabi natin vertex, yun yung dulo niya or kung saan siya nag -meet. So, since nag sila or yung vertex ay nasa center ating circle, we can say that angle CAB now is a central a central angle. That is for the illustration of central angle. Okay, guys. So, yun. Okay, now we already have this uh, basic parts of circles. So, you have the radius, diameter, arc, central angle, minor arc, major arc, and then chord. Now, we have things to uh, learn also about this part. So, yun yung pag-aaralan natin for this uh, lecture. So, I only have three viewers already. So, bahala kayo. Anyway, you can still watch it pa rin. Now, for this uh, quarter, we're going to talk about circles, more of circles. You know, let me just exit the full screen. Oh, the first thing that I will be discussing is the basic um, knowledges for the definition and fundamental relations regarding circle. So let me just share my window. Okay. Okay. So let's just discuss further. You can discuss a video kanina. So we have three major things to remember for this lesson for this week. Okay. You have the radius, the chord, and the di diameter. Bakit? Um, this three plays an important role in finding any measures inside a circle. Okay, so for the first one, the radius. Narinig natin yun kanina. We know that radius is the distance between the point or the center point inside a circle. So for this figure, our center here is A. And sa isang circle, kung ano yung name ng point, ng ating center point, yun yung name ng circle. Since yung circle natin is merong point A as a center, therefore, the name of this circle now is circle A. Kaya yung sabi dito sa description, uh, line AB is a radius of circle A. So as you can see, by definition of radius, it is a line from the center of the circle to any point of the circle. So, ang center natin is A, and we have a point from a circle, you have point B. So, this line segment over here, you have A, B. Let me just zoom this one para malaki. Okay, we have A, B here. This one is your radius. Moreover, radius can be expressed by a lowercase r. Okay, so each point on the circle is the end point of another radius. So if we have another radius, for example, you have point C, this is radius pa rin yan. Okay, that's the definition of radius. Hindi yung radius na magpapapayat kayo ha. Next, we have the chord. For chord, unlike radius, radius is uh, just a distance from the center of the circle to any point of the circle. For chord... Uh, for example, this circle A right here, meron tayong chord CD. Chord CD or line CD, this one, line CD is a chord of circle A. Why? By definition, chord is a line drawn inside the circle. Okay. 
each pair of points in the circle determines a chord. So, for example, we have another point um, X here and another point Y in here, and it forms a line segment, or it forms a line inside the circle. X, Y here, say this is Y, X, Y is a chord, or line X, Y is a chord. Bakit? Nandun siya sa uh, loob ng circle. Hey, teacher, paano kapag yung line e eh, hinate yung ating circle? Anong tawag natin sa line na yun? Ideally, we have the diameter. As you can see, line GH for circle A, we have line GH. It passes through the center point A. Okay? We have the center point A here. And this line formed by two points, we have point G and point H is called the diameter. Kapag ka yung line po ay nagpass or natumbok niya yung ating uh, center point, therefore, we can call this line right here as a diameter. Okay? Kaya ang definition na dito or yung description niya, line GH is a diameter of circle A. This is a circle A. Each pair of points on the circle that are collinear with A or circle A or center A determines a diameter of the circle. When we say collinear, it fall, the, it, the line falls on the same points or the points lie on the same line. Okay? That's the collinear, collinear points. Now, th these three are the basic terms that you need to know or you need to master in order to understand now our lesson for the day, which is the central angle. Okay? I think you're already familiar with the circle graph since we are... No elementary tayo, ang hilig natin mag-drawing ng circle, di ba? Ang hilig ko din kumain ng pizza. So it talks about uh, this one. Yun yung mga basic ano natin. So we know that the full measurement of of a circle in terms of degree is at 360 degrees. Okay? Yung buong circle natin, okay, key points to ah. Full rotation is equivalent to 360 degrees. Okay? While a half rotation naman is equivalent to 180 degrees. So these are the things that you need to remember from time to time. So let's talk about the central angle. So by definition, a central angle is an angle whose vertex is the center of a circle and whose side intersect the circle. Yung example natin kanina doon sa video, okay, if an angle is inside the circle and the vertex is at the center of the circle, therefore, or the angle form of that angle is called a central angle. So let's have an illustration right here. My viewers pa ba ako? Parang, <laughs> okay, I have seven students. Okay, thank you for staying. So let's uh, continue. Let me just, yeah, para buo. Okay, let's me let let me just continue my lecture. Okay, so for example, we have this one. A central angle separates a circle into arcs. Sabi niya. Sabi natin kanina, ang arcs, yun yung napoform kapag ka nadadaisek yung ating circle. So let me just illustrate it here. Okay, let's talk about arc first. Sabi niya, a central angle separates an arc from the circle. So for example, meron tayong central angle. Yung definition ng central angle natin kanina ay yung angle form, pero dapat yung vertex niya is yung ating center point or yung point, yung center natin. So for example, we have circle A here. Okay, ayan. Meron siyang na form dito na let's say this is 45 degrees. Okay. Since yung vertex ng angle na ito, itong dalawang line na yan, ay nag-fall doon sa point A. Therefore, this angle, let's name this B, A, D. 
Ingel BAD now is our central angle. Now, itong angle na to, itong central angle na ito, meron pa siyang na form na arc. Yung arc naman, yun yung curve line, okay, na pinutol ng dalawang ray na ito. Okay. Ibig sabihin, since kinat na niya yan, itong ray na to, nakat ulit dito, itong arc na to ay nahiwalay na doon sa circle. So kung hihiwalay natin siyan, ayan, hiwalay natin. Limbawa, natanggal na siya. Na-evict na yung part na yun ng circle. This is your point A. So, ito na siya ngayon. Ayan. Limbawa, ito na yung kakainin mong pizza. Ayan, naihiwalay na siya. Okay. So, ito na yung angle na na-form. Ito na yung central angle kanina. So, you have 45 degrees here. And this is your point B. This is your point D. Ayan. This is the central angle solely. Now, ayan. this arc right here, itong na-form niya na arc, ayan. Ayan. Tawag natin dyan arc. Hindi yung bangka, ah. hindi yung no, was arc, hindi. Tawag natin dito ay arc. Ideally, kung, cent kung yung arc ay form galing sa central angle, ang measure ngayon ng arc na ito ay equal doon sa measure ng central angle. So, for example, if our central angle is BAD, that is equivalent to arc BD. Okay? Ito yung arc natin. We have BD. From B to D. Okay? We have, we have arc BD. Now, kung ang central angle natin is angle BAD at ang measure ng ating central angle is 45 degrees. Therefore, yung ating arc BD ay 45 degrees din. Okay? Take note, that's for central angle. If the arc form is from the, it comes from the central angle. Okay? So, for example, meron ulit tayong isang circle. Let's have another circle. And for this circle, meron tayong center P. So, this is your circle P. So, circle P, meron siyang point, ah, point five. Points Y and then si points X. Ayan. Kasi nga, di ba, yung circle is a series of points. So, One of those points are point Y and point X. Now, if we're going to draw, ne, ang kapal naman nun. If we're going to draw a line, segment, or a ray, we have the ray for the line PY and the line PX. Now, it forms an angle. So, for example, yung angle nito is 20 degrees. Okay. So, we can name that angle YPX. Angle YPX is a central angle because the vertex is located at the center of the circle, which is center P. Okay. Therefore, meron din siyang na form or na i-dissect na part dun sa circle. Kaya nakapag-form tayo ng arc YX. Kaya na yung arc niya. By central angle theorem, theorem ba yun? Postulate. I think that's theorem. Okay. By central angle, by the definition of central angle, the measure of the central angle is equivalent to the measure of its of the arc form. So, if we were able to have, or, or if we have 20 degrees for angle YPX, therefore, the measure of arc YX is equivalent also to 20 degrees. So, that's by definition for the central angle. So, balik tayo dun sa lecture. Ayan.
So, basahin natin ng bonggang-bongga itong ating definition. Ay, natanggal box. Okay. Yan. A central angle separates a circle into arcs. Yun yung discuss natin. Just as point A or segment A is named by its end points. So, is an arc. So, for this circle right here, ayan, meron tayong line segment PA or line PA and line PB. Nag-meet sila sa point P which is the circle or the center of the circle. Therefore, meron siyang na-form na arc which is arc AB. Okay? Yung measure ngayon ng arc AB is equivalent also to the measure of angle APB. And yun yung nakalagay dito. The part of the circle in the interior of angle APB, ayan, the part of the circle, so ito, is the minor arc. Take note of the word minor arc. Pag sinabi natin minor, ibig sabihin mas maliit siya compared dun sa iba. Okay? Since yung na-form na angle naman nito is mas maliit compared sa exterior kasi interior, nasa loob nung, nung angle, kaya nga siya interior. So we call this minor arc. Okay? Written as A. Now, the part of the circle in the exterior of angle APB, exterior sa labas naman ng angle APB, itong angle na ito, okay, is the major arc. Bakit? Eh kasi yun yung mas malaki. Let me just show you the major arc. Uh, let me have color red. So this one, this part over here, is our major arc. And take note, arc to ah, arc ATB. This is located on the exterior part of the central ingot. Okay. Next, if a diameter of a circle were drawn, pag nag-draw daw tayo ng diameter, ayan, again, by definition, pag sinabi natin diameter, balikan natin definition kanina, a diameter is drawn via line segment, collinear to the center of the circle. So, if we're going to draw a line, collinear to the center, so, sasal pak siya doon sa may center ng ating circle. So, for points A, it will go through point P, which is the center, and point C. This is your diameter. Okay? Sabi niya, if a diameter of a circle were drawn, it would separate the circle into two semi-circle. Siyempre, kapag kahinati natin, imagine this is a pizza pie, if we're going to cut it in half, then you'll have a semi-circle. Not a full circle, but a semi-circle. Ideally, a semi-circle measures 180 degrees. Okay? And a full circle measures 360 degrees. So, semi yan. Semi-circle AC and semi-circle CA. So, our diameter here is uh, diameter AC. Line AC from point A to C. We can also say uh, point A and point to point P or the center, this is your radius. Oh, meron tayong dalawang radius dyan. Okay. Pag pinagsama mo yung dalawang radius na magkatapad, that is diameter. Okay, let's have more for minor arcs. Yung minor arcs natin, we can say that minor arcs is lesser than 360 degrees. Okay. And lesser than 180 degrees. While the major arc is lesser than 360 degrees only. Kasi nga, syempre, nabawasan siya ng minor arc. And then yung semicircle, you have 180 degrees for its arcs. Now, let's have an example for a circle. Okay, we have an example right here. In circle P, so ito yung circle P natin. Angle CPQ, so angle, let me just zoom in. And we have angle CPQ is equivalent to 70 degrees. 
Now, we want to find CQ or arc CQ and arc CRQ. So, as you can see, looking at the illustration right here. So, let me just erase this one para hindi tayo malito. Okay, looking at the illustration. Okay. This is your angle CPQ which have 70 degrees. Now, by definition, sabi natin kanina, kapag ka nag-fall yung angle as central angle, yung measure lang ating central angle is equivalent doon sa arc form. As you can see, the arc form from angle CPQ is arc CQ. Okay? Therefore, kung ano yung measure ng central angle natin, we have 70 degrees, yun yung measure ng ating arc. CQ. So, by formula or by solution, we have the solution here. So, central angle is equal to the arc form. Our central angle here is CPQ. Therefore, it is equivalent to arc CQ, which is yung arc form sa ating central angle. If our angle CPQ from the given problem is equivalent to 70 degrees. Therefore, the arc form is equivalent also to 70 degrees. Why? Because the angle na pinanggalingan ni arc CQ ay 70 degrees. Ideally, 70 degrees, 70 degrees is less than 180 degrees. Therefore, we can say that arc CQ is our minor arc. Our talaga. Okay. Tigas nung our. Okay. Next, let's have the other problem. Find arc CQ and then find CRQ. So let's find the CRQ or arc CRQ. Kung titigdan natin dito sa circle na binigay, our arc CRQ is located on the exterior of our central angle. So, ang exterior niya ay lahat nung nandito sa labas. Okay, so this one is the arc form on the exterior of the central angle. Ideally, this is your CRQ or arc CQR. Pwede na naman. C CQR. Arc CRQ. C, CRQ muna tayo. We have arc CRQ. Ayan. So we have arc CRQ. For that problem, our arc CRQ measures... Greater than 180. So therefore, this is a major arc. So in order for us to find now the measure of uh, arc CQ, CRQ or arc CQR, we have the formula right here. Okay. Yeah. So our formula is... Since meron na siyang kulang, nawalan na tayo ng arc CQ. So meron na tayo dito. We know that the measure of arc CQ by yung solution natin kanina is 70 degrees. Therefore, we have 360. Kasi yung full rotation ng circle is 360. We have 360 degrees. Siyempre, nabawasan na siya ng 70 degrees. Therefore, meron pang natitira. So ilan yun? So by solution, you have 360 minus 70 degrees. You have... 219. That is your major arc. Why? Because it is greater than 180 but lesser than 360 degrees. So that's how you calculate or find for the measures of a circle. Okay, let's have another problem. I hope you're, you're doing notes for this one. Okay, let's have another problem. Let me just erase this one first. Okay na yan. Sige. 
And we have a circle here. In circle E, this one, angle 10 or angle T, E, N is equivalent to 70 degrees. Well, arc and R, we have arc and R right here. Okay. Where arc and R is equivalent also to 80 degrees. Now, and CN is a diameter. So if we are going to draw, so let's erase this first so you can see the illustration of how are we going to illustrate a problem. Okay, so we have, sabi niya, in circle E. Therefore, meron tayong circle or center, which is point E. Okay, angle TEN, so let's draw an angle. We have point T and then N. So, meron tayong dalawang point. So, let's name this T and then N. Okay, point A. Ah, angle TEN. So, gawa tayo ng angle. Yan, central angle to. Kasi nag-touch yung kanyang vertex doon sa ating center point. Is equal to 70 degrees. Ayan. 70 degrees. Tapos meron daw siyang arc and R is equal to 80 degrees. Ito yung ating point N. May mapaform daw na arc which is 80 degrees. So, gawa pa tayo ng isang line dito para makapag-form tayo ng isa pang 80 degrees. And let's name this R. So, this will be your arc and R already. And it measures 80 degrees. Next, the diameter CN. We know that the diameter is a line wherein it is collinear with the center point. So, if the end point here is N, therefore, meron pang isang point dito sa tapat niya. So, let's have that purple. Dito sa tapat niya para makapag-form tayo ng diameter. So, we will name that C. Okay. Oh. Ayan. Assuming straight line yan. Mag-assume na lang tayo. Ayan. So, we, can, we were now able, we were now, we were able to illustrate now the problem. So, let's solve. Sabi niya. Ayan. Tanggalin muna natin ito. Okay. So, let's solve. First, we have to find arc TN. So, solution. The problem is we have to find arc TN. Okay. Our arc TN is right here. You have the point T and N. So, that is the arc form of angle 10. We know that angle 10 is a central angle. So, by definition of central angle, the measure of the central angle is equivalent to the arc form. So, si TN is the arc form of angle TEN. So, we have angle TEN is equivalent to the arc form which is arc TN. Na yun naman yung hinahanap natin dito sa problem. So, if the measure of angle TEN is equivalent to 70 degrees, therefore, the measure of the TN or arc TN is equal to 70 degrees also. Okay? Next, let's find TC. So, doon naman tayo sa TC. Ito. Arc TC. Solution. So, find arc TC. Paano yung magiging solution natin for that one? So, let's try to look at this uh, model dito sa ating circle. Yung ating arc TC is located uh, dun sa right or left part ng ating semicircle CN. So, this is your arc TC. Correct? Now, kung titignan natin yung trend niya, arc TC and arc TN forms a semicircle. 
And we know that a semicircle is 180 degrees in measure. Okay? So if this full semicircle right here is 180 degrees, and we are just looking for the measure of arc TC, ano ang measure ng arc TC? So let's see. Kung natatandaan nyo yung geometry, ayan. Pag in-extend natin itong uh, form na yan, itong angle na ito, from 70 degrees papunta sa line C, dapat magkaroon tayo ng 180 degree rotation. So, anong gagawin natin? So, to find the measure of TC, or let's find first the measure of angle T. E, C. The measure of angle TEC is equivalent to arc TC. Because as you can see, arc TC is the arc form from angle TEC. So let's find for that. So ano ang magiging solution natin ngayon for arc, uh, for angle TEC? So this is our solution. Sir, bakit 180? Kasi nga, di ba, kapag ka, um, in-extend natin ito, magiging 180 siya. Eh, ito lang naman yung hinahanap natin. Itong broken lines lang naman na yan. So, we're just going to subtract 70 degrees from 180 para makuha natin yung measure nung uh, angle around this broken lines right here. So, if you're going to subtract now 180 degrees to angle TEN, which is 70 degrees, we can find now the measure of angle TEC, which is 110 degrees. So, ito na siya. Okay. Now, since the angle of, of, since the angle measure of angle TEC is equivalent to 110 degrees, therefore, we can say that arc TC is 110 also. So, that is the solution on how to find angle TEC. Next, let's have another problem for arc TR. Ano yun, isang problem. So, let's find for... Nay, ang laki naman ng sulat ko. It, I... One, zero. Okay, so let's find arc TR. So, solution... Find arc TR. So, tignan ulit natin itong circle na ito. Means malayo na yung ano. Mag-snip na lang tayo ulit. Let's have the solution for arc TR. Yon. Okay, so this is your circle. Let me just erase this one. Ayan. So let's find arc TR, the measure of arc TR. Now, the measure of arc TR is a combination of uh, arc TN and arc NR. So, as you can see, let's just draw the arc line. Okay. It is, ito siya. From this point, papunta sa point na yan. So, this is your arc TR. As you can see, sa geometry, uh, kailangan malawak yung imaginations ninyo. Uh, marunong kayo mag-visualize para nakikita ninyo yung talagang problem. Yun naman yung ine-enhance nito. Sa algebra naman, critical thinking. Okay. Nahanap na natin yung arc TR and we know that it is a combination of um, arc TN and arc NR. We know that the measure of arc TN is equal to, so ang titignan natin, by, kung bagawa tayo ng formula, it is the sum of arc TN and arc R, NR. Ayan. Yun yung 
measure ng arc PR natin. Pag pinag-add natin yung dalawang arc na yun. So, given naman na yung measure ng ating TN, yun nahanap natin kanina kasi it is an arc formed by the central angle 10, which is 70. So, we know that this is 70 degrees. And your NR is given already. You have 80 degrees. So, we can do now, uh, we can find now the measure of arc PR. So, by the measure, you now have 150. Bakit? 70 plus 80, you have 150 degrees. That is the measure of angle TR. Again, this is still a semi-circle, a semi-circle, a minor arc because um, it is less than 180 pa rin. Okay? So that is for TR. Next, let's solve the other one. NTR. So let's find for NTR. Find arc NTR. So arc NTR. Paano natin siya hanapin? Nasaan ba yung NTR? So NTR Antisoping namatun. Ayun. Nagahang yung aking computer. Okay. Hanapin natin yung arc NTR. So, i-visualize muna natin yung ating arc NTR. Si NTR is from this one. Let's color that purple. From this point N to this point R. Ne? Full circle na siya. Yan. This is arc NTR. Yan na yung arc NTR natin. So, paano natin siya isosolve? As you can see, NTR, looking at the illustration, okay, it is the sum of arc TN. So, meron tayong arc TN. Yung mga nadaanan niyang arc, arc TN plus arc TC or CT. CT na lang. Arc CT. And then, yung hindi pa na nasasolve, arc CR. Ayan. Since hindi pa natin alam yung measure ng arc CR, pwede natin siyang hanapin muna bago tayo mag-proceed dito. So, NTR. Napin muna natin yung measure ng arc CR. Ito. So, let's, let me just mark that thread. Okay. So, solution for arc, ay, arc CR. Okay. Kung titignan natin, um, Arc CR is an angle form from the semicircle CN or NC. Okay? So, kung titignan natin itong part na ito, ayan, itong circle na to, just let me color that grid. Ito. From this point over here to, to there, that is equivalent to 180 degrees. So, we can just have this formula. So, CR or arc CR. So arc CR is equivalent to 180 degrees minus arc NR. Okay. Or arc RN. Pwede naman. Or NR na lang. NR. Yan. Given naman yung measure ng arc NR, so that is 180 degrees minus 80. Ito siya. So that is 100 degrees. So yun yung measure ng ating arc CR. Now, pwede na tayong tumuloy doon sa ating solution. So by the solution, so... Ito na tayo. Yung ating arc TN, so this is 100 degrees. Yung ating arc TN ay 70 degrees. Plus yung ating arc CT, that is 100 
10 degrees, yung na-measure natin kanina, plus yung ating 100 degrees. So that is equivalent to the NTR or to the measure of arc NTR. So let's add it all up. So one, I have 70 plus 110 plus 100. So the measure now of in arc NTR is equivalent to 280 degrees. Okay, that's how you measure missing uh, measurement of the arcs or missing measurement of the central angle. Yun lang yung tatandaan nyo, yung uh, law or postulate natin for the uh, central angle. So, by definition, let me just give the arc postulate or arc addition postulate. So, let's have it here. Let's have the arc addition postulate. When we say postulate, it is similar to theorem or law, or yun yung ginagamit natin to reason out. So the first one, we have the arc addition postulate. Okay, for the arc addition postulate, if Q is a point on arc PQR, then PQ plus QR is equivalent to PQR. So yun lang yung sa addition postulate natin. For art. Ayan. Okay. Ano ibig sabihin nun? Uh, ito lang yan. If we have a circle, ne? Let's say we have a circle. And you have a center Q. Or you have a center A. And there is a point Q on the circle. Say this is your Q. And we have an, another point here. You have P and another point here, R. Okay. The measure of the arc PQR is equivalent to the sum of PQ. To yung sum nito. Okay. Plus yung sum nyan. Diba? Para makuha nyo yung full measurement ng PQR. Again, exerted yun from the central angle theorem. Yung central angle naman, kung ano yung measure ng angle or central angle, yun din yung measure ng ating intercepted arc or arc from the central angle. So that's for the basics of central angle. Okay. Again, mother, a review. Let's have this one. So that's all for this um, video stream lesson. So I will upload the activity for this lesson today. So you can submit it immediately before the day ends. Okay, so ilan na ba yung mga natitira? Parang wala na. O aapat na lang. Ayan. So yung apat na ito, kayo lang nakakaalam ng lecture natin today. Okay? Baka dalawa lang to eh. Okay, so that's for this one. So as a sum up, meron din tayong stream or meron akong uploaded video sa ating Google Classroom. Uh, pwede nyo siyang bisitain. So for your activity, I will upload it on the Google Classroom and on your vSmart School as well. So that's all for this video, guys. Thank you so much. Hope I can see you again next time. <clears throat> You know, tapos na tayo free.